Hi, I'm Constance, but people usually call me Connie. I am an author. I am a personal trainer or a personal tutor. And I am a YouTuber or a, YouTube, a YouTuber instructor in languages who has helped countless people to transform their Swahili learning journey via my books, my personal lessons, and my videos on YouTube. I started this journey in the language world after I finished Form 4 or after I finished high school. This was in the year 2020. That's when I started learning by, I started with learning Filipino or Tagalog, if you may please. And when I started learning this language, I didn't have any idea of how the language world works, how you can acquire or learn a language, okay? So it was hard for me. Trust me, it was hard for me because I, stra I started with cramming vocabularies, with writing vocabularies in a sticky notes without knowing how to go about it, just writing and cramming the vocabulary. But in my struggle, in that struggle of mine, I knew there was something better that I can do to help me learning Tagalog or Filipino, if you may please. I will be calling it Tagalog most of the times because I'm used to calling it Tagalog. I knew that there was something that I could do better to improve my learning. And that is the force that pushed me. It pushed me and pushed me and pushed me to get and know more methods and open my, my mind in the world of uh, the classroom, the, maybe the classroom Tagalog or the classroom language learning. Because that was what my mindset was telling me and that was what I was seeing in the internet. I can even remember this day when we were, I was in college and the teacher was teaching, but then I, will, I, had, just, I had just read a story in Tagalog, but I, I had not understood anything. Nada. I had not understood anything. So I was writing the, I used to write five vocabularies per day on a sticky note. I had written the vocabulary, so I was going through them. My mind was just wondering, so you've read, you've, uh, you've uh, read five vocabularies, you need to put these vocabularies in your list so that you will not forget them. Because after putting vocabularies in the sticky notes, I used to hang them in our kitchen, in the walls of our kitchen. I used to put them in the walls of our kitchen because I spent a lot of time in the kitchen because I was the one who was cooking and the one who was washing dishes. So when I cook, I'm just there looking at the vocabularies. But I was not acquiring, I was just memorizing. That was the problem I have I noticed earlier, last, um, late last year. That was the problem that I noticed. I was memorizing. While I was cooking, we'll check the vocabularies. These are the vocabularies I learned today. Then I will go ahead them. Kuma in like I will go. I'll go through the vocabulary on my head. And then my mom one day told me, "You are making the kitchen wall look ugly. Why are you doing this? Stop doing this." But I just I politely told her that I'm doing that because. I've seen that that is one of the methods that you can learn a new language and she knew that I wanted to learn Tagalog. So she let me be. I continued doing I continued doing that. But right now I'm no longer doing it. But um October last year, October 2022, I came across a new method. I came across a new method called natural approach. And that is the one that I want to help you acquire Swahili with. That is the method that I'm using to acquire more Spanish and to acquire Italian, which, which I'm a month old right now, learning Italian, but I can introduce myself in, in Italian. I can introduce the other person in Italian and I can listen. I mean, I can understand some Italian. Why? And I'm only one month. When I had started learning Tagalog after one month, I couldn't understand anything. I couldn't introduce myself. But what this, did this method do? This method tells us to always be in, an, in a comfortable environment you are learning. Always enjoy what you are learning. Don't memorize or don't translate. Use the natural things that or your likes, things that you like, things for your leisure. Use those to 
acquire the language that you are learn, you you want to acquire because that is how the natives have acquired the language that they have just think about it how does a child who has not gone to school yet speak their native language they have not gone to school they have not gone to class but they can speak the language how because they hear adults speaking they use the language in their activities maybe when they want to walk they start saying tembea they start, as in they use that language okay so as an adult it will be easier for you to use that language use that language in every in your everyday life put that language in your everyday lifestyle okay make it your lifestyle leave it as if you have it you already have it and i promise you you are going to get it so in this busy busy swahili course i'm going to teach you exactly how to do that and to give you the most specific vocabularies most simple vocabulary that you can use to acquire other vocabulary see you soon kwaheri